So this is a quick video on how to upgrade the internal lights of a BMW 1 Series. As you can see, upgraded them to LED and now they're so much better. So we've got two footwell lights to do, two mirror lights, the two centre columns and then in the boot. So actually changing the bulbs over themselves are actually relatively straightforward. So this is in the boot, and as you can see, take a screwdriver, just wiggle it on the end there, and it pops out quite nicely. This one, just unplug it. You want to do that quite quickly so the bulb doesn't get too hot. And you can see these metal holders for the bulb. All you do is just pull one of them out, and then the bulb should just fall out nicely. Now with the LED lights, it doesn't matter what direction they're in. So the best thing to do is just put it in one way, test it to make sure it works and if it does it's fine and if it, it doesn't work then all you do is take it out and turn it around. As you can see that bulb works and so now it's just a case of slotting it in. The next one is the glove box. That's pretty much exactly the same as the boot, same style. Put the screwdriver in the side, give it a wiggle and work it, work it out. However, this one is actually a slightly smaller bulb, as you might be able to tell there. However, I did still fit the same size in that I did in the boot. So you can see the, the holders for it bend slightly there. But then when I was choosing these LEDs, I wanted some nice bright ones. So although it only just fits, it means it is nice and bright. Once the bulb is back in place and it works, then it's just a case of slotting the housing back in the hole. So moving on to the footwell bulbs, it's exactly the same. You just want to find the housing, put the screwdriver in, give it a wiggle, and it will come out. Now, as soon as you open the doors, all your internal lights will come on, so you want to turn them off as quick as possible. And that just means that the bulbs don't get hot. As soon as they get hot and they heat up very quickly, they're just quite difficult to handle. But once it's out, all you do is just twist that black bit and it pulls straight out of the housing. And then just pull the bulb straight out. And with your new LED bulb, you just push it straight in and it fits just the same as the other one did. However, once again, you want to check the polarity. So now it's in. Just turn on the internal lights. It's the right way around. Excellent and then just slot it back into the housing. As soon as it's back in the housing, then it's just a case of pushing it back up into the body of the car. Next are the mirror lights here. What you need to do is work your way around with the screwdriver, loosening it up, and as you can see, it comes out there. Now this is the same style as the glove box and the boot, so all you need to do is pull those metal arms apart and the bulb will just drop straight out. Size wise is about 42 mil again, so the same size as the boot. As you can see, put in the LED in, make sure it's the right way round, so just check it like that. And then finally, the overhead lights. So you want to work your way around with a screwdriver. So this is really loose because I've already taken it off. But work your way around with a screwdriver and it'll just pop off like so. And the middle light, that's easy to get, you can just pull it straight out with your fingers and then just put in one of the LEDs. So this is slightly more difficult I found lining it up so I had to sort of get right underneath it so I could see in the hole and wiggle it in. On the two sides all you need to do is just pull those black plastic caps out and they'll expose the bulbs. So I found the bulbs really tricky to grab with my hand so this is the best way I found of doing it. So a pair of pliers with a rubber band in them and it meant I could get a good grip on the bulb and I found I could actually squeeze relatively hard and the bulb wouldn't break. This is quite still quite difficult but it does make it easier and then once again as soon as the bulb's out you just put a new LED one in. Once you've finished the black plastic caps they just push straight back on, polish off your fingerprints and then push the casing back on. So you want to start with the side at the top of the screen and then sort of hook it around that and pull it, pull it over the rest of it and really push in around where those buttons are. I found this take to quite a lot of pushing for it actually clipped into place and I have to be quite forceful with it. So yeah, I found it best to pull it down and then over the buttons, really good push. 
And so there we go, all the internal lights have now been upgraded. And I think it looks really nice, really nice clear white as opposed to that yellowy colour. So it costs just under a tenner to do them all. Uh, and as I say, because I looked individually to find exactly what bulbs there were, it meant I could have a search and then order the ones that I wanted. So make sure they're the right size and they'd fit. Yeah, and I think they look really good. So thank you for watching and I hope this helps.